Welcome back to the review of the week, guys. This time around, we're gonna talk about the seven deadly sins. <clears throat> Four Nights of the Apocalypse, episode one. <laughs> so, keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Buong akala ko, hindi na babalik ang anime franchise ato. But lo and behold, it's got a spin-off. So, let's get into the deep dive. Face! Slow and chill yung pacing. But the moment uh, this this red knight called Ironside steps onto God's finger, well, all hell broke loose, and the tensing, uh, the tensing, pwe, the pacing become became really intense. Do I have complaints? Wala. So far, it hasn't disappointed me. Pilot pala. But. Well, overall, I got no right to complain about the pacing of this episode. Talagang sinet yung uh, yung mindset ko about the uh, about the about about this spin-off on how the main protag will, will start this journey. Lo naman, I saw only one gear shift here, and that was when Iron Ironside attacked both Vargis and Percival. Uh, Percival yung uh, yung yung pinakabida rito. No brain of a gearship there, folks. Kasi, dito pala maki, makikita mo na kung paano magsisimula ang, uh, ang buong, uh, buong spin-off na to. It's like, uh, the way I see it, first of all, would be on a quest for vengeance. Uh, he, he wants payback for, for what Ironside did to, it, to, did to him and his grandfather. Pero, will it still be enough for you to, to understand how, how this spin-off is going to run? Nope. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work that way. You need to watch the pilot from start to finish. Pilot episode nga eh. Alright? In order for you to fully understand how an anime storyline is going to... Uh, where, where it's headed, watch the pilot from start to finish. Plot-wise. Alam nyo, no backstories or side stories indicating that that um uh, that the original Seven Deadly Sins will make an appearance. Nope, talaga nakafocus sa bida. Therefore, malinis ang plot, guys. I mean, come on, considering. Uh, the history of this franchise under Studio Dean. Eh, dalawang, dalawang palpak na season yun eh. Mabuti nga na uh, uh, they, they were able to, to end that series on a rather high note. On talagang, uh, talagang may closure or so we thought. So, you need an absolutely clean plot to convince the old fans to watch this one. And ako, I'm totally convinced that I should watch this one. Right? See, there are there are characters from the original series na nandito pa na, na bilanggit ni Ironside. So, that's something to look forward to. Well, overall guys, it's a really clean plot. Hindi kayo magsasawang uh, panoorin ang pilot na to. And it'll really set you on that path on how on how this spin-off is going to go. On how the spin-off is uh, on where this spin-off is headed, practically. So base flow and plot all came together for this pilot, folks. We can safely say that yep, the Seven Deadly Sins franchise is is back. Although ibang bida, ibang timeline. Well, let's see. Let's see if um, Telecom Animation will do a better job than Studio Dean. So. The Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Deserve.